guys, it's Dawn and I'm back with a plan with me video. I'm really, really excited to be filming and so excited to be back working in my Erin Condren. This week I'm going to be planning May 1st through May 7th. I can't believe it's already May. But I'm going to be using the these couple sheets of paper from a paper pack from the paper studio and it's called Country Roads. And then I'm also using this washi tape. And I apologize, I can't remember where all this washi came from. I'm sure it was between Michael's and Hobby Lobby. That's typically where I get the majority of my washi. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some date covers. And these, man, it's been so long since I filmed. I'm like, where are these from? Uh, I will link everything that I use uh, down below. Um, most of these are from Etsy shops. I haven't purchased off Etsy in a very, very long time. So um, I'm just sort of going through and using what I have. Um, sort of on a no buy now with a baby coming soon. So um, you'll notice this video is very, very scattered because I'm just so unorganized right now. And uh, literally I shuffle through tons of stickers and ultimately end up being more creative than just pulling stickers out and using more of the paper packs, which I actually like how it ended up. So I couldn't find a sticker for that upper left hand corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out a piece of the scrap of paper and put it in that place. And then I'm going to just do some hand lettering on the top. And I just pulled a phrase off of one of these stickers from my Michaels sticker book. And then I'm just using a Sharpie because it gives that really nice rich black versus all my other pens sort of aren't quite as bold as this. So I just lettered Today I Choose Joy and I just wanted to incorporate the, the paper um, more. And um, so this was sort of my theme. So I'm just using my paper cutter here and I get a little bit off out of frame here, but um, I will show you. I'm just using a plain old Elmer's glue stick and just glued um, a couple strips of paper down across the bottom here. And I'm shuffling through all of my stickers, which are super unorganized at this point. After I filmed this video, I was able to get everything put away and um, organize my stickers a little bit because I was so frustrated filming because I couldn't find anything that I that I wanted. So um, I apologize for the lighting. The sun is coming in and out and we're having um, clouds pass through and sort of impacting my lighting here. But I'm just creating my sidebar here and uh, just used a to-do header and a um, checklist flag from, oh my gosh. This is gonna happen the whole video, so I apologize in advance. Uh, Libby and Co, sorry, Libby and Co. And the headers are from my newest addiction. It finally came, came back to me. So here I just took a couple strips of scrap of paper out of the few that I chose, and I just made some flags, and I used those to mark my work days. Then I'm just going in and hand lettering work on all of those days. I found this to be a little bit more creative than just using my work header stickers, which I like, but this is just a little bit different. And then this sticker is from an Erin Condren sticker book, and I just wanted to use a little flower to mark May Day. And then I grabbed a, a little header sticker from the back of my Erin Condren, and uh, I'm just marking down that we have a hospital tour on Tuesday evening. Since if, if you're new here, uh, you probably don't know, but I'm pregnant. I'm about a little over six months pregnant. So uh, that's pretty exciting. And then you'll notice I put in here a couple of um, dog paw stickers and I'm marking down walks for my dog. He is in rehab again. He had to have a second surgery because he got a major inf infection in his joint. So now we're back to 
rehab, <laughs> but he's doing much, much better and um, is actually starting to to be able to walk quite a bit now before it was very, very short walks. So, okay, so I got sidetracked. Um, I'm taking more scrapbook paper for Sunday. We have a work uh, potluck, a barbecue potluck on Sunday, and uh, I just took a scrapbook piece of paper. I just, Initially, I wrote barbecue potluck, and I didn't like the way that it looked. It was really uncreative, and um, I have these really great stamps. So I was like, oh, I should use those stamps and with the little barbecue on it. I thought it would be really cute. And then I also put a coffee on that day. I like to get coffees on either my Mondays or my Fridays. And since I am pregnant, I'm limited on, um, I'm limiting myself. I'm not actually limited, but limiting myself on how much caffeine I have. So if I feel real tired or didn't get a whole lot of sleep the night before, I will treat myself to a coffee. But I've been trying to stick to decaf. So here I'm just marking some Instagrams. The stickers are from Libby and Co. I also marked um, that I want to plan on Thursday and film again. And on Wednesday I put a sticker from my newest addiction that says me time and I want to do some scrapbooking on that day. Here I'm just using some more of the scrapbook paper just to sort of um, tie all the paper that I used in together and just cutting full boxes. All right, and obviously I'm drinking a ton of water and I wanted to use these hydrate tracker stickers. These are also from Libby and Co and I'm just alternating the colors all the way across the week. I did feel a little not only scattered finding my stickers and figuring out what I wanted to put where, but I the process was really, I'm really out of practice. And I've been using my planner, but I haven't quite been going this far out. I have, I've just been kind of jotting things down and keeping track of what I need to keep track of, but I have not been decorating my planner and using all these stickers. So it took me a little while to kind of get back in the swing and I figure a couple weeks of this and I'll be back on my game. So of course I want some checklists throughout for some to-dos. And these um, three heart checklists are also from Libby & Co. And then these headers are header stickers that I purchased. I can't remember the name of the shop. When I find it, I'll link it down below. But it's a printable shop on Etsy. go just putting a couple of those three heart checklists down I used a today sticker and a little thing sticker and off camera here I'm shuffling through a huge stack of stickers that are look at completely unorganized it was so bad I was finally had to turn the camera off because it was taking me too long to find what I wanted and this is what I wanted this little appointment sticker so for the potluck obviously I'm gonna need to do some sort of cooking or preparation I'm not sure what I'm bringing yet but I just put prep food uh, the night before then I also need to restock supplements. I have some stuff that I need to get done at the barn. So I'm just using these horse stickers that I made. And then I figured I wasn't going to be able to get to it on Tuesday because of the tour. So I was going to need to get this stuff done on Wednesday. And then I realized there was a couple of things that I wanted, not just mark a trip to the barn. So I just wrote barn with a pink pen and then I wanted to make a small checklist. So 
So I just used another three heart checklist and this one is from My Newest Addiction. Then in order to help me kind of get my hand away from the coil, I just stacked up a bunch of stickers and put them under the page. And that helped quite a bit. The coil still gets in the way, but it helped. All right, so then I just wanted to fill in a couple of the to-dos for the week. And just some reminders, um, we're still a little bit, uh, a few days out from the first, so I'm sure I'll have more to-dos in the next few days come up. All right, you guys, so this is a very simple um, spread for me, and there's a lot of white space. I know it might stress some people out, but I really like to have the area to fill stuff in and to add to it as the week goes on. So let me get this centered here so you can see. Uh, I really like the way that the colors kind of play off each other, and I really enjoyed using this paper pack. Um, again, it's Country Roads from the Paper Studio. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you. Uh, I know I've been inconsistent on posting videos, but I swear I'm trying to do better. I just have so much going on and my daughter isn't even born yet. So um, for those of you that aren't unsure still, I'm having a girl. If you um, don't follow me on Instagram, please do because I put more updates on Instagram than end up going on YouTube and I'll link my Instagram down below. So again, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and like and subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Bye.